All right, what's up, guys? How y'all feeling out there? Once again, I'm on a late night doing a video. But, man, once again, I got to tell you, man, you guys are so lucky to be young. In my time, it wasn't happening like that. But now, today, you hear so many stories of these beautiful teachers dating these young men. I'm talking about 13, 16. Man, that was a dream. And I know, I had a daydream. It was a couple of older ladies I wanted to hit when I was younger. Man, these older ladies is taking these young guys, man. Man, check this out. Let me stop talking about this. God, Lee. You guys are so lucky. Look at this, man. He he feel like he in love. Well, she brought him from and I know he's not in love. Our child to our adult overnight. It, secrets and mystery intertwine, taking over two families. Why would you choose my child, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like my child was a target. She robbed him from all his being a youth as a child. Oscar and Lisa O'Neill appalled in what they are calling a forbidden love affair between their son, 16-year-old Oscar O'Neill III, and his former Forest County teacher, 30-year-old Nicole Jackson. I know he ran off with a school teacher that's supposed to have been teaching him. You know, she, this lady with all this authority, she supposed to have been the one, you know, looking after my child in the school and teaching him and not going with me. I don't really know much to say, but just, bro, I want her brought to justice, you know. You want your baby? And I want my son home. The last time the family saw O'Neill was in the overnight hour Sunday. Okay, you think he want to come home to y'all? I'm just being real. You think he want to come home to y'all? Instead of hitting that? Come on, man. I'll be gone too, man. That's a dream come true. And what are you going to come home to y'all for? Hey, I believe uh, it together. I definitely believe that together. He left a letter on the bed. and now, you know, He left us a letter uh, saying he was leaving and you know, pretty much moving on with her. Uh, when I opened the door, I found it on his bed. Surrounded with his pictures. He put all these pictures around. Yeah, he put all the pictures around him. Of pictures of him and his dad. And he wrote a good letter. I mm. mean, it was telling that he loved us. We raised him right. Yeah. It was nothing we did. It was his decision. It was his decision. Mm -hmm. That's the same time Jackson's husband, Isaiah, last saw his wife of four years. The mother of two is now wanted by Hattiesburg police. The Nicole I know would never do this. Uh... Jackson was out on the $10,000 bond for sexual battery in a position of trust. Police believe the two could be together traveling in a dark blue Chevy Impala, that car who her husband says belongs to Nicole's father. When the truth comes out, and it will come out one way or the other, uh, I believe justice will be served. And mm -hmm. if the allegations are true against my wife, then I will support him yeah. as much as possible. Of course, because honestly... You know what? She wanted some some chocolate snicker and you was weak and you wasn't giving her the chocolate snicker. So she went for a Mars bar. Okay? Now. She went for a Mars bar that just got put in the refrigerator. A younger one. Sorry. Possible. Neither family has heard anything from the two at the center of this investigation. Oscar, if you looking at us, if you seeing us on TV, if you would, would you please come home? Please. Please, just come to the house. Are you killing your mom and your dad, you know? Come home for what? Come home for what? Yeah, I know you guys don't be liking my comments on this type of thing. Yeah, I know my fantasies. I see these lucky guys. Okay. Now tell me, at 16, where he's staying now, out there, what's better to do? You want him to come home to what? Okay. You want your wife to come home for what? Okay. Stop. This is, man. Life is so short, man. I'm enjoy that, man. Let them two enjoy that. Move on, man. You wasn't hitting it right. And he's young and he's a spawn. You know, leave the comments y'all don't like what I'm saying. But I'm just keeping it real because I know I've been 16 before and I'd have been right there on the road. 
on the road again.